there cubbies Krista here back with another video today I'm actually going to be doing something a lot more fun <laughs> um, just because I'm not very good at first person at all so we're gonna do a walkthrough of my childhood home which I've built in the Sims and obviously it's not like pff, exactly like my childhood home it's just like this closest that I could get it in the Sims and I just kind of want to tell you guys a few of my childhood stories, I guess. Like, that would be fun, right? <laughs> I hope. Um, let's just jump right into it and see how it goes because I don't even feel like waiting. Let's just do it. So, okay. So, this is the outside of my childhood home. Uh, that is meant to represent my dad's Firebird formula that he had when I was a kid. And uh, where is she going? What is she doing? No, no chatting. We don't have time. Sorry. <laughs> These Sims are so disobedient. <gasps> oh my god, no, what happened? Who did this? Who put a mailbox in the middle of the house? Okay. Hold on one second. I am going to have to jump into <laughs> to build mode <laughs> and get rid of it. <laughs> Who did this? I'm not okay with it. Okay. So, when you first walk in, uh, you know, there's a bunch of stuff on the walls. That's not what it was supposed to look like. You know what? We're not going to worry about it. Okay, so there's stuff on the walls. Some of it looks the way it's supposed to, be, supposed to and some of it doesn't. Uh, and then... You can go into the kitchen, right? Can't, okay, we'll just get as close to the kitchen as we can get. Okay, so here is the kitchen, which, I mean, it doesn't look exactly like it did. Okay, so on the very top of our cabinets, you are going to see little dolls. That is not just me, like, adding fun decorations in. In our house, we had a bunch of, like, porcelain dolls up around. And the reason uh, is because my grandma bought them for us, I'm pretty sure. I think it was her that bought them for us. And then this box here above the refrigerator is meant to represent the candy box that we had up there, which I'll tell you a fun story about it here in a minute. Okay, so we're in, and then we're going to go, oh yeah, and then right here, like there was like a, a little window type thing where you could see into the living room from the kitchen, and the, the trick was to be extra fast when you jumped up onto the counter to get to the candy box, so daddy couldn't see you when he was watching TV, but he watched and he saw us every time, like we weren't that slick, we just thought we were, and then so tricky figuring out how to go through doors but here we are in the garage where oh, okay all right so in the garage we did that lights not supposed to be here <sighs> okay I'm ignoring it in the garage <laughs> we did our laundry uh, the van is meant to represent the, the family van that we had it wasn't black, it was like a teal color, but they didn't have it in The Sims, so right. And then we're just going to go right back out and ignore every picture on the wall because it's not supposed to look like that. Okay, right there. Great, awesome. And then we're going to go this way first. Go right here. All right, so we have doors all over. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> all right, so right here is a little closet that we had, like a little hallway closet. And then I'm actually going to start by going into the bathroom so I can show you the bathroom. Uh, obviously, you know, it's not exactly what it looked like. It's just... The Sims closest that you can get, I guess. 
And then, uh, actually, I'm going to take you guys into my sister Emily's room first. Okay. Stop moving. I don't even know what Shelby's doing. I'm doing this as my sim self. So, I was kind of thinking <laughs> it would be fun. <laughs> It's actually really difficult. So this was my sister Emily's bedroom. Uh, she was the oldest, so she got her own room with like a nice big bed. And then like that was her closet. And there was like stuff on the walls. I just didn't, I just didn't do it. I added the extra toys and stuff in though. So like at least I did that. <laughs> right? <laughs> but... Now I'm going to take you guys into our bedroom, which is like the main attraction of the whole build, honestly. So excuse everything that's floating. Um, <laughs> there was like a little closet right there, and then we had a little TV in there, which of course we always got caught watching TV. And we didn't have a chair like that. We had like a beanbag chair. And we literally had a bucket, like a huge round, like I think they have like survival stuff in it in The Sims, but they have a bucket like it. I just couldn't do it. But we had a bucket where we put all of our toys and then we had a bunk bed, but you know, The Sims doesn't have a bunk bed, so I improvised. And then we had fish for a long time. And the funny story behind the fish is that they were my sister Alicia's fish we started out with like a bunch of them and they were all different colors. And my sister, being the most creative girl she could be, named them all for their color. So the red fish was ready, you know, the blue fish was bluey, yellow fish was yellowy, and then there was an orange one named Orangey. Orangey is where the problems were. Uh, she, she was a hateful fish. <laughs> she didn't like the other fish. She didn't get along with them. Orangey killed them all. <laughs> uh, she ate them. Yeah, and it was it was super fun for my childhood. So just a fun little story to share with you guys. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this is exactly what I wanted to hear about. And then let's, oh, what is happening? Oh, no. All right, let's go. All right, so this is the living room before we actually walk in. Uh, it would like he my dad would rearrange it for Christmas and stuff, obviously. But this is just like what it would look like on a regular basis. My dad actually complained to me the other day, telling me that we had toys all over the place, so I threw a bunch of toys in. Uh, we had an entertainment center, but since there isn't one in The Sims, I just kind of had to makeshift one, and I couldn't find all the same wood color in all these different things that would actually fit. So I just had to make it either black or white. And since everything else in the house is white, according to my mom, who was the one who decided apparently that all of the walls should be white in the house, except for the bedrooms. Don't even get me started. And then my dad had his workout machine right here in the living room for everybody to see. Like we all wanted to see that. And then behind the workout machine uh, is a little certificate. But what it really was, it was a uh, it was a family contract that we all signed. <laughs> Don't even ask. <laughs> no, it was like a contract that like we would always be there for each other and stuff like that. And then, ah, uh, okay. So there was that sliding glass door, which I will go out here in a minute. But first, I'm going to take you guys into the den, which is my dad's room, or it was my dad's room. So. He didn't have this many pictures on the wall or anything. I kind of went overboard with that. Um, he did have a little bookshelf next to his bed where he had a bunch of com book, comic books. He had all kinds of comic books. And then he had a little walk-in, well, a big walk-in closet, really. And, <laughs> and then we're going to actually go into his bathroom, too, because his bathroom is something else it's like green my mom was like there's a lot of green and I couldn't find a good color green for the floor tiles so I just was like brown it is 
and then we're gonna go outside i was gonna put like a bunch of like weights and stuff in my dad's room because that's what he had he had weights all over the floor his door had one of those bars on like the top part of it for him to do (laughs) pull-ups yeah he worked out a lot so i really wanted to put some of his workout equipment in the house because that was a very large part of what we had i mean we had so many there was just a mess of workout equipment uh we did spend a lot of time in the living room as a family watching the simpsons and stuff like that you know stuff kids should be watching and then we are actually going to go out into the backyard which i'm so excited for you guys to go out into the backyard with me because there is something i want to show you So this little spot was like all the pavement they had at the time, I guess. (laughs) No, they just put a little bit of pavement there. And then as you can see, I have, I have something in the tree. (laughs) Why won't she go where I want her to go? All right. So now that I've got us over here, I swear, this is ridiculous. All right, so now that I have us over here under the tree, uh, this little table here is where I spent a lot of time as a kid making mud pies, uh, mud cookies, cakes, brownies, cupcakes, um, muffins, excuse copper, (laughs) Um, just anything mud, you named it, and I would like, I'd mud it up. I'd bake it with mud. I don't know. (laughs) And then this, they didn't have any pieces of rope. To use as a rope swing because that's what we had we had a rope swing that my great-grandfather and my dad actually made and it hung from our tree in the backyard and I spent hours and hours playing on this rope swing every day like that was my life and that was what I loved to do obviously and then I'm actually gonna take you guys ah, around the house so I can show you a little bit more. Um, the color that the house is right now in this video is the color that the house is in real life at the moment. So that's why it's like that. Um, over here, we for a short time, it was not long at all that we had it. But for a short time, right here, we had a little kiddie pool and we had water balloons and all that stuff. And we spent so much time, like everybody would hang out in the little kiddie pool. Like my dad got in it with us and everything. Like we had such a good time. And then I'm actually gonna take you around to the other side of the house. And then, so my dad had this firebird formula. You wanna know what he named this firebird formula? Like little Pontiac, right? He named it Bear. I was like, Dad, why? Why would you name it Bear? It's it's red. It's not a bear. Look, what is Shelby even doing? Oh, he's thinking about me. Uh Uh-uh. You are busy right now, sweetie. Sorry. You cannot talk to him. And then over here, okay. I'll tell y'all right now, we did not have a mailbox on our property because it was at the end of the street. What is that? A clothing pile? Jeez, Shelby. We can't have anything. So over here during the summer, anytime we actually got the chance, we would bring out the slip and slide and it always went on this side of the house. Uh, We had neighbors that lived directly on this side of us. And then on the other side over there, there was like a couple acres of a field and they had horses and stuff, which I absolutely loved. I had like the best time there ever was with those horses. And I think that's, that's pretty much it. So you guys have now taken a walk through my childhood with me. <laughs> I hope that you guys had a wonderful time because I did for sure. Um, <laughs> but Tell me what you guys think about my childhood home. I mean, obviously, this isn't exactly what it looked like. Like, the columns in front of the front door here, they had, like, some white on them, and they had these little, like, diamonds at the bottom and stuff. But we don't have those options in The Sims. So I just kind of ran with what I had. And I think for The Sims, it's as close as I could get it. 
But you wouldn't believe the memories that come back when I was building this house. I was just like remembering all these things that I didn't even know I'd forgotten. <laughs> I was just like, wow. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think. Tell me if you guys like this video or what you guys want me to do for my next video. I am open to video requests, so feel free to comment below and give me some. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I love you guys. Uh, stay safe and spread love. And ciao.